Hey what's up you guys, yes it's Jordan and as you can tell by the title of the video above, today's video is going to be a book review for What If It's Us by Becky Abertali and Adam Solvera. So first off, before I get started with the video, if you hear anything in the background, for example, screaming and yelling, my brother is right outside my door playing a video game. So I just want to let you know that. And also, if I end up looking down a lot, I'm looking at a notebook with everything that I'm going to say for this video so I don't forget anything. The only thing I'm going to say right now is that I'm not going to be talking about like what I think on the cover because it's going to pretty much be the same thing per video. So now let's just get on to the video. So um, I finished reading this book, let's say, by the time you're seeing this, it would have been, it would be the day I'm filming it, hopefully, but if not, exactly one week ago from when you're seeing this. And it's around 400 pages, it's a pretty thick book, but um, the synopsis is it's about two boys. Arthur and Ben and they both end up meeting at a post office. They start talking and they don't get each other. What I think Arthur doesn't get Ben's name. He starts to think that his name is Hudson but it's not Hudson. They Eventually, because there ends up being some kind of flash mob at the post office, Ben ends up disappearing. He just vanishes at a, into thin air. And for a good, a good while, for about a week, the two of them are trying really hard to find each other and they end up finding each other um, over Craigslist and Arthur ends up putting up a like a note or whatever in Ben's friend's Dylan, uh, Dylan's like job place whatever, and then they get reunited again. Once they start to get to know each other a little bit more, they decide, oh, how about we uh, go on a date? And because the first date doesn't exactly go as planned, they decide to have a second first date, and then a third first date. At this point you realize that Arthur is only in New York, where this book is set, for that one summer. So at the end of uh, July, or August, whichever month, Arthur has to go back to Georgia and so so my question for you guys so you guys can start reading it is what does Ben wh what does Ben do in the situation like do they stay together once Arthur leaves or do they break up and stay as friends only I know um, now I'm gonna get to the things that I like about the book. The first thing is that I can relate to both of the characters a lot. I want to say how I can relate to them, but it revolves around where I live, so I don't exactly want to get into that. But I can relate to Ben because Ben is writing a story called The Wicked Wizard War and he's very afraid to have anyone read it. Um, which is kind of the same thing with me. Yeah, I'm making videos on my process on it, which this week um, is going to be an update hopefully, but it's going to be... It's going to be going from the first draft to like, I'm done with the book, because I'm pretty much done with it at this point, but you can watch that video when it comes out. Um, 
about my update on that, but I'm very afraid to have anyone read mine because I don't know, I don't know what people say about it. I, I mean, yeah, it's pretty much going to be completely fine and all my friends are going to like it because they're my friends, but I'm just afraid that some one of my friends will say that they didn't like it because of the whole entire concept. So that's why I'm afraid to give it to people, though I know that all of my friends will want to read it. But anyway, um, the other thing I like about it, which if you don't like, I'm just gonna say, if you don't like anything revolving around LGBT stuff, I don't think you should read this book at all because it does dive into that throughout the whole thing because it's about two guys dating um, but that is pretty much what I like about the book is the romance between um, Ben and Arthur I just love LGBT books they're just my favorite types of books to read. Now, the one thing I don't like about this book, there are probably other reasons why I don't like it, I just can't come up with them right now. The one thing I don't like is that the ending of the book is not exactly what I hoped for. And because of that, I am not going to say what I thought the ending was gonna be because it automatically tells you what happens. So I'm just gonna let you guys read it so you can figure out why I didn't like the ending. And again, I'm not mentioning the cover because obviously I think the cover is perfect because it you get to picture what the characters look like throughout the whole book, which I really really like. If you have to picture it in your own head without seeing the cover, that gets a little bit more challenging for me because I don't already know what the characters look like. But um, that is my that is my review of What If It's Us by Becky Abertali and Adam Silvera. And also, if you've read one of each of their books, um, and you know a little bit about each author, then you'll know who wrote each character. Um, I think Becky wrote Arthur and then Adam wrote Ben. I'm just guessing because that would make the most sense, but um, yeah, that is my review on this book. I really, really like this book and I'm actually too afraid to put it on my bookshelf because it is just such a good book that I don't want to put it on my bookshelf because that means that I'm officially done with it. Though I'm already like 12 chapters into my next book, which I don't think I'm going to be doing a review on. But um, if I do, then you're welcome. But I think that's it for so um, I just want to let you know that hopefully next Sunday is going to be a 2019 TBR video because because I have like nine, ten books on my TBR. A lot of them are going to be repeats from my last TBR video, but I did get some new books and I'm really excited to read them because four of the new ones are manga and I have not started reading manga yet which is going to be an adventure but anyway if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up because it shows me you enjoyed it also comment down below some videos you want me to make regarding uh, books and or reading slash writing and also look at the description box down below because I have all my social media accounts and what I hope 
the next video is going to be because I hope the next video is going to be a writing update because I haven't updated you in a while and there are some major updates that I need to let you know. Um, also click the big red subscribe button because and then click the bell next to it because then you'll get notified every single time that I upload a video because you want to get uploaded because obviously I don't upload every week. I'm gonna try to upload more this year like every once a week at the most and I know I've already failed but we'll see what happens so I think that's it so I will see you guys I will see you guys in the next video good damn bye